All right, uh, welcome back everyone. Um, today we're looking at this sick farm um, right above me. It is a wither skeleton farm producing 300 plus skulls per hour, which is crazy. And this isn't even on right now. You can already see a couple just falling in. Um, so I just wanna go over just a quick way of how this works. Um, mainly we're just using uh, flying machines to funnel them in. It's nothing too complicated. You can see we just have about three of them. They fire over. Um, and they push down. Uh, originally had the, all of these on separate systems, um, but they each, whenever they would come, one was always quicker than the other, so eventually this one and this one would come together, and they would stop both of them from moving, or one, which wasn't ideal, because then you would have all of them spawn in one spot, and then you would uh, lose your rates, like, really badly. Um, so if we keep uh, looking down here, it's the same. Uh, design on each level um, and you're actually if you're wondering about this but this actually increases efficiency having this five blocks out here and three blocks out on this side um, it I don't know what it does is it because uh, they can spawn here it forces the spawns into there it, it somehow increases efficiency if you really want to get the full uh, all the information about it there's a video uh, made by uh, Nembomb on YouTube. Go watch that and you know, just be blown away by how this guy works. Actually, I haven't spawned proof these yet. Um, but yeah, this farm is awesome. Uh, it turns a really uh, simple farm into uh, easy to build, but super efficient. Um, main reason for its efficiency is because we've pretty much removed all the blocks for 100, 100, 130 block radius, um, just to be safe. Um, and actually, uh, again, then down here we have beds because they, if, when they fall, they, they wouldn't take full damage. Um, sometimes you'll see the occasional skeleton, but that's just because we're in Soul Sun Valley and they're, only, and they're the only other mob that can spawn. And then up here we have some flying machines. Oh, actually, yeah, the beds, they, I don't know, I already talked about that. Um, then we have some flying machines, they funnel them over. So the whole farm is on is on the basis of funneling these six chambers into two, then, or I guess four, and then these flying machines go over, funnel them into two, and then these ones funnel them into one. They fall down, and then just kill them down here. Everything is controlled by this lever. Um, and actually, uh, when we're um, talking about proper bounding blocks, if we turn on the bounding blocks of this fortress, you can actually see where the fortress used to be. Um, and we actually are using these, cro uh, these crossroads because they're the most efficient place to farm in. And we actually do have three of them. We have one there, we have the one in here, and then we have the one over here. So if I wanted to make this a little bit more efficient, I could just make the same farm a little bit um, in each one. Um, that would be a lot more work though, and just funneling them all to one spot, which would slow down the rates because uh, you have to worry about getting them all to the, all to the killing chamber as quickly as possible. Um, other than that, uh, we just have a simple slab roof that extends about five blocks on each side. And actually here you'll see, um, we're not actually using, uh, using all of the space of the bounding box. We're doing this because you really, you really only need the bounding box to be one block above the space that they're going to be spawning on. And then they'll, they'll spawn there. Everywhere else it's, it's all full. Um, and then, after, and then uh, yeah, the farm is pretty simple. And if we actually just turn this on, while I'm standing down here, and just kill a couple of these guys, we go F3, you can see it working. So they spawn. The race won't be that good right now because I'm uh, waiting for, they're all piling up down there. You can see now they're coming around. You see the flying machines pushing over. They get funneled, and then they get shot down. Um, they're all dying in crafting right now because um, there's so many in there. We just go I think it's like six and just kill a whole bunch of these guys. You can already see. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's see how long it takes us to get our first uh, head. Come on.
You can actually see this is actually quite a good, um, what's it called, uh, XP farm. Um, you're pretty much getting a fresh, a fresh batch, like every couple seconds, of about 20. I'll oh, see, we already got our first head, and it's been maybe like less than a minute. So this farm does produce uh, 300 uh, heads per minute, or per, <laughs> um, per hour, or actually 300 plus. Um, closer to about 316, which is about five stacks of heads, which is absolutely crazy. So if we just shut this off, you can see all of them falling down. You know. And then right here, sometimes they get damaged, but um, they'll usually walk out on their own, or they'll get pushed. Um, all in all, this farm is incredibly efficient and incredibly simple. Um, there will be a tutorial um, released in a couple weeks um, explaining all of the mechanics of the farm um, in a lot more detail, and it'll be a full uh, build tutorial, so that'll be a much longer video. Um, but other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.